Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I wanted to talk about why I think the MacBook Pro is the best laptop for music production. And the reason is the trackpad. This thing is amazing and in this video I'm going to show you how I have my trackpad set up as well as how to use a setting that not everybody knows exists inside the Mac system preferences to really allow you to get the most out of the trackpad. Obviously the MacBook Pro being the best is my opinion and I'm lucky enough to have a version that is extremely highly spec'd so I don't have to worry about that but the best laptop for you is obviously the one that fits in your budget and allows you to do what you want to do and if you don't like the Mac OS operating system then regardless of how dope this trackpad is it's not the one for you but let's have a look at what we've got going on here. One of the reasons why the Mac trackpad is so great is because of all of these things it allows you to do. So these, these are all fairly normal. But there is a ton of stuff you could do and I would suggest you uh, pay attention to what's going on here and get used to it because it really does make your life so much quicker when you are optimizing this trackpad. But the one thing I would say about this is make sure your tracking speed is reason reasonably fast. Um, it's probably a little too fast. I like having my tracking speed fast enough that it feels like the mouse is in the same spot as my finger is when I'm moving it around. I think typically it's too slow. I would encourage you to push this, push the uh, tracking up a little bit and get used to it. Um, because once you get used to faster, I think faster is better. But let's jump in and have a look at this secret setting that not everybody knows about, but I think is a game changer for music production. So, in the accessibility menu, if you scroll down and click on pointer control, hmm, I think it used to be something different, but if you click on pointer control, or whatever it is in your current version of Mac OS. Then if you go trackpad options and enable three finger drag, that allows you to grab anything by simply touching three fingers on the trackpad and moving it around. <laughs> oh dear. This is kind of amusing. I already had the ability to do three finger drag, but this setting was off. When I restored this computer from my time machine backup, which did have it, it must have already had the settings or something, but you can see now, now I'm three finger dragging and nothing's happening. So you've got to enable the three finger drag in order to do that. But the reason why this is so useful is pull up an Ableton session. The reason why this is so useful is because it makes changing any type of parameter in your DAW so much easier. If I want to change the volume of this uh, group, for example, all I need to do is move one finger over to the volume thing, put the other two fingers down, and now I can immediately start three finger dragging that volume that volume down and up. If I want to, you know, adjust a, a fader here, all I have to do is three finger drag the volume down or up. I can adjust my scenes, three finger drag. And because the, the trackpad is so big, it's hard to miss, right? This also works with... Um, any, any type of VST plugin, I just grab the knob by touching three fingers down and I can move it. Same with the fader, three fingers, drag up and down, can move it. That one setting, <laughs> the three finger drag under accessibility options, I think is game changing. I was so pumped when I found that setting out a long time ago and it's been a staple in my you know, music production process when I'm working on the laptop uh, ever since. And I'm always amazed at how many people don't know that you can do this. 
um, always showing it to students, um, other producer friends. So yeah, that's this is one of the reasons why I love the MacBook Pro trackpad so much, is that three finger drag thing underneath the accessibility features, which just makes life so much easier when you are producing. Hope that tip was helpful guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you've got any tips for optimizing Mac OS in the comments and I will see you next time.